Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use our racehorse betting spreadsheet that you can download for free on our blog. So it starts off in this format, purely blank, and I'll explain the different constituents to it. We've got the data entry. Um, you can extend these columns so that you can account for the, st the statistics in every single horse within the race. I like to go in, go on the premise that the top four favourites will come in um, and then just bet each way <clears throat> on one of these that comes up as the most favourable according to the statistics. But you can extend the columns and break down the statistics for every single horse. <clears throat> so we've got the odds, we've got the horse rating, which is a rating given by a time form which outlines the the favourable characteristics in the horse's build and, and the way it moves. Um, the jockey rating, which is the uh, calculation of how successful a jockey has been in the past 12 months. The trainer course preference, which is the proportion of wins versus the proportion of losses within the particular course, um, because the trainer will be based at one yard and the horse will be training at that yard, and certain yards are more compatible with certain courses. Also got the jockey course preference, how successful the jockey has been within that course in the past 12 months. And also the horse speed in its last race, which is calculated by working out the, the winning races of the same length course. Got to be careful because some of the horses run different lengths and different differences each race. So you need to have one similar to the distance that's in the current race. And we just do a simple speed calculation. So we've got a few calculators here. We've got the odds converter, where you insert uh, the odds and it will break it down into an implied probability. And we want this to be a number out of 10. And that's how we calculate all the uh, different stats, by, by breaking it down into a fraction of 10. Um, we've got the speed calculator here, which outlines um, the distance and outlines uh, it's a section for the time. And this will actually create a speed for you it will automatically generate that into a speed uh, in meters per second so I've got um, a list of different instructions here at the bottom so you could really do this yourself but it's always best to have somebody explain how to use the spreadsheet so um, this is where I put my results in this section here predicted results um, th we can calculate the um, the winnings with odds or without odds so that's basically saying you can break down the statistics and you can include odds or not include odds um, I'll show you how to do that as well so I'll just show you some of our winning spreadsheets in the past so this particular one we added all the statistics in and it showed that Enbihar uh, was going to win uh, followed by snow. Uh, that's with odds. Without odds, it was going to be snow first, or in Bihar second. It was betting each way, so it ca if it came in the top three, um, we would still win. So this is the actual result. In Bihar won. Snow came third. So if we'd have betted on either the with or without odds one each way, we would have still won. Um, you can Google this. I believe it was the Goodwood. Um, I'm not sure. Let's just have a look. It was the Goodwood 1500 first of August, and that's the actual result. So that shows us it won. We'll go to um, another example. This one um, was the. Don't think I've got this one up. Um, this was just another race um, with Cepheus. Moonbar, Berkshire Savvy, Alcacar within it. Um, it came out that Alcacar was going to be uh, the winner, followed by Cepheus, but when we calculated it without odds, um, the winner was actually Cepheus. And um, we can see here that Cepheus came in. And then we've got another one. It's been successful quite a fair amount of times. More often than not, it's won. Um, just this is another one where bet each way came out that Thunder Moon would be second 
Um, but actually, with odds, he was going to win. Um, it was just because certain factors skewed the data. So the, the speed on Alkanate was a lot higher than everybody else's speed, but I actually inputted the data wrong. We used um, a shorter race distance for that particular horse. Um, so it skewed the data. So I went with Thunder Moon and he came third, which is um, which was a win because we betted each way, which means if it's in the top three, depending on the, the size of the race, then it then it will uh, will still win. Um, let's have a look. And this is another one. This is one of my favourites. This was from the other day, um, and well, the other weekend, Great White Shark came up on top with three points to 2.73 on the other horses. Um, so we betted on Great White Shark, and of course, Great White Shark came in, which is fantastic. Um, it's not a foolproof way of working out the winner. Um, you, it, at the end of the day, it is gambling, so you can't be 100% sure. But it's a good way to, if anything, just learn about the horses. It's interesting to find out all the different stats and, and work it out yourself. Um, so I'll just show you how to do the spreadsheet. So I'm going to use um, this race that's on today. It's the 1615 Ascot on the 17th of October, um, the Balmoral Handicap. So we've got our top four here, Raik, King Ottokar, Tempest, Niord. Actually, this is a handicap. Handicaps mean that if a horse is bigger in the race, then they'll put weights on it to slow it down. Um, so I wouldn't recommend using our spreadsheets for a handicap because we're going to take into consideration things like the rating of the horse, the speed of the horse, and it just won't work. Um, it won't work with a handicap as well because they're being handicapped by put, having weights put on them. So we'll have a look at some other races that we can use. Right, 1615. Um, so we've got the Kipco Champion Stakes. So that should be alright, it's not a handicap. So I always use this website at theraces.com. Um, it breaks down the statistics for you to an extent and, and gives you an idea of what the odds are. Um, so we've got Magical Mishrif Lord North Skeletti. So we're going to write that down in our spreadsheet. Lord North. I'll just put skill for this one. So, first we need to break down the odds. The odds have changed a bit now. We didn't get in for quick, quite as quickly as we should have. Um, right, we'll do 7 to 4. <coughs> well, actually, we'll take a screenshot. Because these odds are just changing. Um, so I'll take a quick screenshot. And we'll paste it in. And then we'll just um, right click. We'll go on Format Picture. Crop the image. And we'll just crop it down to where the odds are. We'll just put that there next to our thing. So we've got seven to four for magical. So that's three point six three. Mishrith five to one. One point six six. Lord North nine to two. One point eight one and Scaletti. I'll put him Scal. 
That's 17 to 2. That's 10%, 1.05. Right, so we've got these this information now, so we just need to go on each horse, which is really easy. The page crashes again, these got these open. Um, so this is magical. It's got a rating of 121, so we're just going to write 121 in our spreadsheet. What we're going to do is calculate the average and it will we'll create a, a fraction out of 10 like we're doing with every single other um, statistic. So we're going to compile all these together, get an average number and see what it is out of the total. Um, so that will show, show us out of 10 how good that rating is. So that's 121. So look at Nishrit. So Nishrit is 121 also. It's going to be quite heavily matched. And then let's see what Lord North is. Twenty-three, so it's actually a higher rating <coughs> than the two favourites. <coughs> then let's have a look at Scal or Scaletti <coughs> compared to these. So we're going to add these together. Um, you can just put a, a little formula in, so you can press sum equals. I think it's equals sum. Actually, just press FX and it co comes up with sum. You press OK and all you have to do is highlight all these. And it will create a total number, 481. Just pick it a bit bigger so you can see it. There we go, 481. Four, to get a, a percentage, decimal fraction style thing, all we need to do is use our calculator, 481. 0 0.2.51 so that's 25 percent so we're going to put 2.51 here we know for a fact that it's going to be the same in this riff so we're going to put 2.51 then we're going to just do the same for um, Lord North 123 divided by 363 up so you've got to remember these this changes the total, so I'm gonna to have to press undo and just make a note that it's four hundred and eighty one. Delete that. Let's do that again. <clears throat> one twenty one divided by four hundred and eighty one equals two point twenty five percent. So that's two point five one. 2.51 for this shift 2. So we're going to do Lord North. 123 divided by 481. That gives 25.5%. 2.55. Then 116. 2.424% of the total rating, so that would be 2.411 or 2.41. Great stuff. Um, so this is all coming together now. So now we're going to go on the jockey rating, which is easy to do on at the races. So we're going to go on magical. The jockey is R more. So I'm just going to right click on this. So here we go, we can see 
here on the right of the jockey's name it says last 12 months total rides wins and places so we're going to add up wins and places and divide that figure by the total amount of rides and that will give us a percentage of the rides that he's won or placed in because we are betting each way so it doesn't matter if it is a place so we're doing 70 you can't see it very well there because it's still loading but that's what the figures are 72 plus 111 so that's what is one in place in 183 races and we'll divide this by the total no number of rides which is 453 and this gives us 40 percent so this this jockey has won 40 percent of races in last year which is very impressive so that's 4.03 So that jockey is particularly good. It will be a good, um, a good jockey. Um, and then we need to work it out. For, well, we'll just do one horse, and then you get the gist of what to do. So we now need to work out the trainer course preference. Um, I tend not to do this one. I leave these two out, but I'll show you just for the sake of doing this tutorial. I'll show you how to do it. Um, I like to just use odds rating, jockey rating, and horse speed. But I will show you how to do it. So we're going to train a course preference. So we've got the trainer for Magical is um, AP O'Brien. So we're going to right click on O'Brien. O'Brien. So here we are um, on A O'Brien, the trainer's page. And you can scroll down, it shows you the wins and places by course in the past 12 months so if we, we can click view full table and it will show show us exactly how many races per course um, for the last 12 months so you just need to find Ascot so 35 races 4 wins and 6 places that's 10 out of 35 so you 10 divided by 35 equals 28% um, so 2.85 we do the jockey course preference so I have to go on the jockeys page again our more open a new tab So we're on the, the jockey's page, scroll down, get to courses again, we can see, we don't even have to press view for the table, it's here, Ascot, so 5 plus 13 for the total wins and places, so that'll be 18, and 49 appearances, so we do 18 divided by 49, so that's 36%, 3.67. But 3.67 and then horse speed this is the interesting one um, this is something that I think is a good predictor um, because obviously the, the fastest horse will win that's a fact um, so let's have a look at magical so Ascot we can see it, it is one mile one furlong 212 yards it's a strange kind of length um, but we can turn this into just furlongs as well. Um, so we'll see, it might be easier. But we'll we'll go to Magical. So on Magical's page, scroll down, we can see full forms. I go on um, wins and places. So he won his last race on the 12th of September. And this is one mile, two furlongs. So this is one mile, one furlong. One mile two furlongs. So that's an extra furlong. He's used to racing um, an extra furlong. We'll go with that one. It's not much difference. It's only 500 meters, half a kilometer or so, something. So it should be all right. If we right click this and press open a new tab, it will actually show us the results of this particular race.
and it shows. So we've got the <coughs> got the race on. Um, the last one that Magical won is one mile two furlong. So what we need to do is go on our spreadsheet and go to the speed calculator. So it was one mile and two furlongs. So that would be 1,609 plus 200 times two. So that's 402 plus 1,609 um, meters. So that is 1,609 plus 201 plus 201. So it's 2011 meters. So you just put 2011 inside the meters. And this allows us to do a meters per second calculation on speed. So then we need to look at time in seconds. So the, the way we find out the time is by scrolling right to the bottom and it says here winning time 2 minutes 5.08 seconds. So all we need to do 2 minutes is 120 seconds plus 5.08. 8 equals 125 seconds point zero eight. Let's go to our horse racing spreadsheet on the horse speed. Click out the box and it will generate the speed in meters per second. So that's 16.07. What we're going to do is add all these together just like we did in the horse rating section and it will give us a total speed. Um, and then we're going to divide the individual scores by the total speed score and that will give us um, a, another a decimal fraction and all we need to do is times that by 10 and we'll get a figure out of 10 um, like we did in horse rating. Um, so this is the total score for each one and this is the overall probability that it's generated. Um, so this is calculated by creating an average percentage throughout all these um, so we're doing the actual fraction is C18 divided by 6 so the score divided by the 6 factors um, if you want to delete some out you can and then just to divide them by the amount that you're using to calibrate um, to work out your statistics as I mentioned before and I usually like to delete the trainer course preference and jockey course preference purely because I, I feel the odds rating, jockey rating and horse speed are more um, persuasive factors in working out which one's a winner. <clears throat> I might be wrong, uh, but that's how I, I've had quite a few winnings just from using those factors uh, rather than the trainer course and jockey course preference. I'm going to fill out the statistics for the rest of the horses and I'm, I'm going to come back to you and I'm going to show you how we can how we can work out the, the, the likely winner and also the, the likely winner without the odds being taken into consideration <clears throat> so I'll come back in a second hi guys so we're back um, on the spreadsheet I filled everything in everything's been made proportionate um, so we can see here it, it delivers an overall probability of 3.2 for Magical, 3.18 for Mishrif, 3.16 for Lord North and 2.85 Scal. Um, I like to, as said before, so this would mean that Magical would win, um, or should win. But as I've mentioned before, I'm not keen, I don't like the trainer course preference or jockey course preference. I delete them out. So if I press delete, who's it's still magical there um, still magical but with Lord North coming second rather than being third um, you can also delete the odds section and this will give you the without odds so without odds magical and Lord North are joint second and actually Scal should win which is very strange um, that's without without odds. With, without odds, scal without odds, scal should win. With odds, magical wins. But I suppose if we press undo, undo, and then just delete the odds section here, and then we can take into account the trainer course preference and jockey course preference as well. So we've got another figure now. When you take off the odds and take into every everything into consideration, so now Mishrif 
comes second. That's right, Mishriff, Mif, Mishriff's in first place by quite a lot. It's quite a hard race to um, to judge this one because so many different factors. For instance, Scaletti um, has never the trainer has never let a horse run in Ascot, so that figures zero. So it pulls Scaletti down quite a lot. We should delete. I think we should definitely delete that column because that skews the data a bit. Because just because it's a new training yard doesn't mean it's not going to do well. In Ascot, so we'll delete this. This this says that Scaletti should win um, without odds and without that section. It's got the best jockey out of all of them. Um, the jockey course preference is high, but I've actually when I was doing the the, the data for this one, um, the jockey has only actually appeared. Like three or four times in Ascot, and may have just been lucky in those three. So I'm going to delete that section as well because it does skew the data more. And Scaletti still up there at the top. Um, so it's a hard one. It really is. It really is a hard one. Um, so we've got magical winning. With odds, take out these bits because, as we spoke, sorry about before, the skew in the data still winning. Um, take off the odds and Scaletti wins. So, we've got I always put in the bottom here with odds is magical, without odds will be Scaletti. So it's up to you. Um, it's up to you guys what you, who you want to win. It will be, I imagine it will be, Magical or Scaletti placing, 100%, one of the two. You have to decide which one it's going to be, um, whether you're going to consider the odds or not consider the odds. Um, and then you just go back to your at the races section. So if we go on Scaletti. Um, have a look. If you actually see, so it's it's got quite a high form. It seems to have a, had a lot of races, um, but it's winning quite regularly. Um. So yeah, it's it's hard to um, it's hard to say really. It's only unplaced in two races in the past twelve months, and then look at how many wins and places it's had. Um, so it's it's won many. I think it's worth a punt. And putting it on Scaletti, but it could be magical. Um, so that's our call through the spreadsheet, and then stay tuned for the actual race, and I will um, record the footage, and I'll put it on here as well, so you can see exactly how the spreadsheet works. Right, great stuff. See you later. Champion stakes here, Simon Holt, and they're away. Racing in the Kipco Champion Stakes, a day I've ridden forward on the out. Came second, which is a win for an each way bet. Uh, that was considering the other statistics to odds. So we deleted the odds section, looked at horse rating, jockey rating, and the average top speed of the horse in its last race. Uh, these, all, these are all factors that need to be taken into account. Just because a horse is a favourite doesn't mean it's going to win. Um, so here you can see I, I called this one before. I thought it was worth putting a bit of money on. Um, 
because it, it was an underdog but had a good chance because of its rating outside of the odds. So please feel free to use this spreadsheet as much as you want. Um, please like, share and subscribe and you can access the spreadsheet using the link in the description below to our blog. And there's a free download link in there. So thank you very much. Please, um, please share this video and with a bit of luck you can win in the future. Thank you.